Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake. Now shake that ass for me. Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Shake that ass. YouTube channel it is your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog I have had such a productive morning you guys and I'm so proud of myself so I just got back from New York yesterday and today's my first full day in Houston Texas and I told myself as soon as I get back I'm hitting the ground running gym consistency productivity like I'm locking in so I'm really proud that I actually stuck to my word and have had such a productive day so far so if you guys are new here hey you have found your way to an amazing place on beyonce's internet this is my youtube channel kinesthetic i post videos about anything that i'm interested in at the time so just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below from now because i'm telling y'all y'all are going to love it here okay it's a little lit it's a little chaotic it's a lot of ups it's a lot of downs but through it all we have a great time so go ahead and subscribe if you guys are returning thank you so much for clicking on yet again on another video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so today is wednesday june the 26th i believe yes june the 26th and as i mentioned first full day back in houston texas i was in new york for about a week and when I was in New York, I was eating like crap. I wasn't working out. I was just chilling, working, hanging out. Like, <laughs> so I need to go ahead and cleanse my body and cleanse my mind because New York, baby, will take a toll on the mental. So I'm happy that I'm back in Houston, Texas. I had a great time in New York. If you guys did not check out my New York vlog, make sure y'all go back and check it out after you finish this one. I did a lot while I was in New York. Wasn't really expected, but nonetheless, it was a great time. So back in Houston and we have a full week ahead of us. So as I mentioned, today's Wednesday. I finally got a break during my busy work day to start the vlog off like speaking to you guys because I've just been recording. I haven't really talked to my people done. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow I wanted to do a solo date in the evening. I'm really excited to do it. I really hope it's happening tomorrow. I need to confirm but I do want to take myself on a solo date tomorrow or whatever. Friday I'm supposed to hang out with Des again and saturday is my homegirl's housewarming so we have a lot of things coming up in the next few days and i'm excited because 
I have outfits that need to be worn. My hair is freshly done. Like, y'all gonna see this scalp before these birds grow out. Okay, baby? Period. So, yeah, I'm excited. And what else did I want to say to y'all? Oh, also, y'all, I feel like this is the second year that it happened. I'm not too sure. But either way, July starts on a Monday. If you know me, you know I love when a month starts on a Monday. And not only is it July starting on a Monday, it's the second half of the year. It is the third quarter of the year. Like, I'm just so excited. So, I've also been preparing myself for the new month. My laundry is basically done. I need to wash my bedding. I need to give my kitchen like a deep, deep, deep clean. So, we're going to do all of that in today's video. I have to unpack suitcases. When I tell y'all, my freaking garage looks like... I don't know if y'all seen the stories of them people who go into airports and steal people's check bags. But that is how my garage looks. Because I literally have suitcases packed and stacked. And they're just sitting there waiting to be handled. So, I need to unpack suitcases and get my guest bedroom together because it's just a mess. I don't have anyone visiting, but I just need to get it together. But either way, we're doing a month reset in this vlog as well, so I hope you guys are ready. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish responding to emails, and I also need to finish mapping out a concept for a campaign that I actually need to film. So I'll be back a little later when it's time for me to get ready to go out. Oh, no, I won't be a lot. <laughs> I am about to refresh my hair. So I got my braids in while I was in New York by my sister here by underscore Kimmy on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen my maintenance vlog, make sure y'all go ahead and check it out because I showed y'all the behind the scenes of me getting this installed in. So basically it's a sewing in the middle, sewing in the middle and braids on the perimeter. Literally the same exact style that I previously had in. Literally the same hair that I previously had in when I say human hair not the braiding hair but human hair same hair i went ahead and reused it and details on the hair can be found in my maintenance vlog but we didn't like wet it and cut it cut the ends because we finished my hair late and i had to pack to get on my flight it was a whole lot a whole lot of. so either way i'm about to do my little refresh on my braids and i wanted to show you guys because if you guys are new here you guys haven't seen it before and of course i have to show y'all so let's go in the bathroom maintenance was way faster the only thing we changed this time is i have less braids in the back i didn't really like the braids in the back because i didn't really do updo styles and with the braids on the neck they tangle a little faster because you know what's in the nape area and things just be rubber dubbed up and moving back there so i told him i'm like give me the least amount of braids in the back because it's a lot to detangle back there because things get tangled up so quickly. So the back was a breeze, just, you know, detangle the bundles. And then now I'm just here separating the hair in the front braids. But this style, baby, it belongs to me. I'm sorry. It belongs to me. It's mine. Yep. Mm -hmm. So... This is my little summer hairstyle, I guess. I'm, I plan on keeping these in until probably like mid-August-ish, ish-ish. And then I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair after. Because I don't want to wear my hair out until maybe like October. 
because this heat like the last thing i want to think about during the heat is what i'm about to do with my hair so yeah and also by the time i take these braids out it'll be time for a trim i won't have a trim so the twist outs won't be hitting as much the wash and goes won't be hitting as much y'all get the gist of what's going on y'all get the gist of what i'm saying so i'm just gonna keep these in as long as i can and also these are fuller too so as the hair sheds which it naturally does it won't look like as thin and i can keep it in longer when i took my braids out the last time it didn't look thin towards the end it really didn't so these braids might have to make it to i don't know <laughs> i'll be trying to keep my braids in but at the same time i know it's not like healthy for the hair especially since i was complaining in my fancy hair review video like I'm experiencing breakage and I believe it's from the braids but I'm not gonna stop doing braids come on now come on now y'all should know me better than that so here's the hair let me wet it a little bit more here's the hair in its final form but as y'all can say, what's going on? So when it dries, I'm gonna trim the ends myself. Let me give the ends a little extra TLC. Yeah, this leave-in conditioner. You need it. If you have like protective styles and you want to moisturize your hair or refresh your hair in a style like this, you need this leave-in conditioner. I ran out when I had my previous set of braids in and I tried other leave-in spray concoctions and products and it did not hit the same. I'm telling you guys, like it doesn't make the hair crunchy, but it defines the curls. Like I'm telling y'all, it used to be available at Target, but unfortunately it got pulled out of Target or they pulled out of Target, whatever. So now you have to get it from CVS. So I went to CVS yesterday and spent my hard earned money to buy it. But the brand literally just wrote me like, we're sending you more leaving it. And I'm like, oh, y'all are the best. Cause this leaving it, baby, fire, fire. So yeah, this is my hair refreshed. Little curly pieces, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to let my hair ear dry and then I'll be back later when it's time for me to get ready. Hello loves. So I'm about to start getting ready. I'm exhausted. I wish I took a nap but I didn't have time. I didn't have time to take a nap so I'm exhausted. But I'm going to have to wake my ass up. I'm going to have to get myself hyper real quick because this tired energy is not cutting it. But let me show you guys my outfit because I think it's so cute. So I'm finally wearing this white dress that I got from H&M. You guys remember this? 9.99 dress from my collective haul yeah she's getting worn today i'm gonna wear it with this bag super cute these earrings Ooh, fitting bag is from tj maxx earrings are from marshall's just as h and m i'll link the dress i don't know if it's still available but you're gonna have to go in the store to see if you find these earrings in the bag and then i'm wearing these little kitten heels that i got from asos i'm obsessed with these like excuse me i will be wearing these all summer long they were 30 dollars. look they have just enough support okay just enough to get you off the floor but not too much okay not too much so yeah i'm wearing these i got these in a size eight they were in true to size i'll have the link for those down below as well so this is my little outfit i'm about to take another shower i'm not like sweaty or anything but i just like to shower before i leave the house because i just feel like it's a part of the get ready with me process I think my order of getting ready right now, now that I have these braids in, is shower, makeup, hair, outfit, or outfit hair, depending on like what we're doing with the hair. But I'm wearing my hair just like straight down today because I told y'all scalp is available, so scalp will be served, okay? Scalp shall be served upon availability and it's very much so available so it will very much so be served so yeah i'm getting back into my bag with my makeup short form content so i am going to record my makeup as i'm getting ready so i'll check in with you guys once my makeup is done and my outfit is on because i'm going to record my makeup i'm going to record my outfit i should be good on time because i'm giving myself like two hours so 
girl if you're not ready in two hours we have a problem we have a huge problem on our hands so let me go ahead and shower and start getting ready i have been liking to shower in the dark i don't know what it is but i haven't been liking to put on the light to shower i don't know what it is <laughs> it sounds weird but like i just prefer to shower in the dark whether the sun is up or it's not i just prefer to shower in the dark i don't know what it is okay i just finished getting ready let me show you guys my outfit so dress is h&m i will put the link down below okay so dress is h&m I got this a few weeks ago in the store. Super cute, right? Bag is TJ Maxx. Shoes are ASOS. It's literally like a mini kit. Like whatever is smaller than a kit in here, that's what these are, okay? And then accessories, I just have on these earrings that I got from Marshalls. So, oh, I did a little lippy too. I'm just bypassing new things like girl you cannot do that lippy i recorded my makeup it came out so good new brush not new brushes but clean brushes will always do it for you so i'm about to head out because i want to stop to get food before i go to this event because i have not ate since hours ago so i'm gonna get food and then i'm going to head to the event and meet does there what is the oh whoa i'm like what's going on but let's go out and have some fun on the tin. I'm out of town, thugging my rounds, my coochie, my. First of all, I don't know what this is about the rain always like starting when I leave the house, but let me show y'all the sky. Like, look at these clouds, they thick as fuck. Oh, so it's saying that it's an hour drive, mind y'all. This is like a 20, maybe 30 minute drive with no traffic. For it to be almost an hour is wild, so. I'm going to check in with y'all when I get there. I don't know if I'll even have time to stop to get something to eat. Oh, my God. I'll be back. I really hope y'all believe me when I say that Houston is the most confused city ever. Like, sun is out and it's pouring rain. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear this? Baby, you cannot have your cake and eat it, too. Is it going to rain or is the sun going to shine? Because me and my outfit and I, we're very confused. My makeup and I, we're very confused. This traffic and I, we're very confused. Like, this is crazy. That's why, that's why I need to get it. I like the way your body is shaped just like Kalani. I like the way your body is shaped just like Kalani. <laughs> you guys, I'm really somebody's auntie. But either way, hey guys, it's the next day. It is Thursday, June the 27th, I want to say. And yesterday, the event was great. The event was cute and we had a good time so shout out to the memorial city creator club that was who threw the event and it was basically an event to launch the creator program so yeah we had a good time today's thursday i don't have anything on the agenda today besides i need to get this campaign out of the way so i'm gonna do that later today and I also have to make it to the gym because I didn't go to the gym this morning. I was like, I'm going to go to the gym in the evening since I don't have anything planned. I was going to go to yoga, but I feel like, I don't know. I'd rather just go to the gym today. That's how I'm feeling. 
I came on here to tell y'all something and I forgot what I had to tell y'all. But I like the way your body is. She just might come on here. I like the way your body is. You just like how my body is. Have fun, baby, all night long. Take it on home. I know y'all are probably tired of me coming on camera singing some song, but music is life. Music is life. I love music. Like, let's really love music. But, oh, I have to put y'all on some of my new. It's not, it's a new song on the market, but it's a song that I've been listening to for a while that I absolutely love. We're going to get into it later on the car ride. But um, I forgot that we're doing a solo date today. I'm here like there's something on the agenda for today. We're doing a solo date today. So solo day is going to be Movies on the Lawn at Baybrook Mall. I've always wanted to go. I found out about it last year and I wasn't able to make it because I think last year they did it on Saturdays, if I'm not mistaken. But this year is on Thursdays, every Thursday at 7 p.m., uh, May through August. So the last Thursday of August is the last day. I'll put the link down below so you guys can see the schedule of what movies will play on which Thursday. But today is Breakfast at Tiffany's. I've never seen Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is very surprising. But you guys are going to learn, if you guys don't know already, that I haven't seen a lot of movies. Like, If y'all heard the movies I didn't see, y'all will revoke my black card, but we're not even going to get into that. But they're showing breakfast at Tiffany's today. And I'm like, it's perfect because majority of the movies they play are like cartoons or kids movies. And while that is fine, I'm not a mom. I don't have any kids to bring with me. So I'm like, oh, this should probably give like, you know, a grown and sexy kind of night. But we'll see when we go. So I got a PR package that I want to open with y'all. I don't know who it's from. So let us see. I'm always nervous because I'm like, who's sending me something? Let's see. Oh, Lancome. I should have knew. I should have knew. I should have knew. knew. Lancome sent me over a goodie box. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is the Lancome and Emma Sunset Makeup. Oh, yeah. One thing about Hong Kong, they're gonna send what they gotta send, but they're gonna send some extra goodies as well. And I love that. So, the star of the show are these Hong Kong Teen Doll Eye Blushers. It's a liquid eye blush. Let me open this one since it's already kind of open. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. Is this the. Let me see. What else we have? Sandstorm. Oh. Oh, okay. Is this the girl who created the sunset uh blush trend? That's what I'm thinking. That's what it's giving. But these are so cute. While these are eye blushes, I would definitely use these on my cheeks as well. This one right here. Oh my god. So y'all see the greatness that has been created yeah this is beautiful so thank you so much Lanco for sending these over they also sent over this lipstick this is the first kiss lipstick I actually have this one already so I'll gift it the lash primer you guys know I love this uh, they sent over this Clarifique which is a brighten and pro solution this which is my fave to remove eye makeup if you wear mascara if you guys wear lash glue and when it's time to take off your makeup it's a little harder to get off like your eye makeup tell you guys this right here game changer game changer this mascara is the one this lancome edome mascara eats so thank you so much lancome for sending this box over i can't wait to dig into these goodies and you know Try them out, see what they working with, see what they hitting for. So, yeah, back to work I go, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I'm gonna come home, freshen up, and we're gonna go to date night. So, yeah, I'm excited. Did y'all peep that he said, I clean up real nice? I don't gotta bathe? Is that what he said? That's nasty. 
I clean up real nice. I don't got a mate. Oh, he said, I don't got a mate. I thought he said, I don't got a baby. I was about to be like, gunny, you real nasty. You real, real nasty for that one. But I just pulled up to the gym. I'm about to get my workout in. Did I work out yesterday? Yes, I did. So it's about to be two out of five. It's Thursday. So I could do three. Yeah, I could make my five out of five this week. So let's go ahead and get in the gym. Doesn't look like it's packed, so I'm hype. Hopefully, I can record for y'all because I want to show y'all some new things I've been trying to get the booty and the and the stomach real flat. Y'all see this? Y'all see the the imprint? Once this this fat goes away, oh baby, hide your men, hide your kids, hide whoever you gotta hide because it's a state of emergency. Hey guys, so I worked out and I was gonna go on my solo day, but y'all, it's so hot outside. It feels like 105 degrees. And to sit out on the lawn in this weather, I just think it's diabolical. So I just decided not to do the solo day today. But I decided to still make today a little bit of a self-care day. I really just want to lay on the couch, watch my shows, and do nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay on the couch, watch my shows, and do nothing. But to do that, I needed some snacks. I just came back from the stores. I just got a little one, too. Just a little one, too. So I went to Randall's and I found this. This is like Randall's brand of groceries, sweet and salty kettle corn. Baby. Boom chicka pow pow dupe. Boom chicka 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 dupe. Okay? And it was literally half the price. So I'm gonna try this and see what it's hitting for. And then I also went and got two of my favorite ice cream. Did I tell y'all about my favorite ice cream on here yet? I know I told Instagram, but did I tell my YouTube? This ice cream, if you live near a Randall's, I'm telling y'all go get this. I don't care if you eat dairy or not. This is a non-dairy peanut butter chocolate chip ice cream, y'all. So good, so good that I had to get two of them joints. I know I shouldn't be eating it, but I'm eating it. And then from Aldi, I got two packs of these chicken rolls which i'm about to pop in the air fryer so this is my little fix for tonight's self-care night and now we lay on the couch and do nothing but watch our shows love island uk love island us real house of real housewives of new jersey i did end up missing i bought two cases of water and one of my press ups popped off so but yeah so i'll check in with you guys later because i'm about to do my little one soon maybe a little drink for me Hey my loves, happy Friday. Today is Friday, June the 28th, and I have been productive all morning. I shot a campaign, I am almost done editing it, and I also, I did a lot this morning. I've been up and active, okay? But <laughs> why did I post a story over here in my garage the other day? My friend was like, is your Christmas tree still up? And I'm like, oh, you got jokes, huh? Like, you, you, you think you're funny. <laughs> it was funny, though, because y'all know I had my Christmas tree up until, up until, I had my Christmas tree up, up until April of this year, I believe. But either way, I got a PR package yesterday. I'm trying to put all my boxes out for garbage today. So I want to open a PR package with y'all. And I'm really excited about this one because, baby, if you know me, I'm a easy, breezy, beautiful what? cover girl cover girl sent me a package and i don't know what's inside i don't know what's inside i think they emailed me probably a few months ago about this so i definitely forgot about it i was like oh maybe they forgot about me girl no okay you gotta be patient you gotta be patient in life and that's one thing that i'm learning Patience is key. Patience is king. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Okay. So, inside, there's this card which has the product information on it. No lash curl I needed. Oh, it's a mascara. Yeah, I know I've been loving to rock my natural lashes. Oh, these stickers are so cute. So cute. And then, if you know me, you know I love a makeup bag. I love a makeup bag. So they sent over this makeup bag. It says, 
cover girl. With this cloud, I guess this is the theme of the lunch. Let's see what's inside. Oh, goodies, 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 goodies. So they actually sent over three, are they all the same? Three mascaras, I think they're, oh no, different shades. So there's a dark chocolate, there's an intense black, and then there's a berry brown. I guess that's more for like the girlies who have like red hair, if you will. So thank you so much CoverGirl for sending these over. I cannot wait to use this black one to see what it's working with. Cause y'all telling me this product, you don't need no lash curler. Meet the new CoverGirl Eye Enhancer 3D Mascara. The mascara for size is 3D lift, curl lift and fan for all lash types. The 50 degree curve fiber brush wraps every lash. Root your tip, every lash. Catching even the smallest and straightest lashes. The clean and vegan formula is infused with hair care inspired plant based keratin and lifting waxes to keep lashes lifted and fanned out all day. So, shout out to CoverGirl for sending these over. I cannot wait to try them out and see what they're working with. And I will report back to you guys to let you know if it lives up to the claims. So, yeah. Oh, my car is so disgusting. It's so disgusting. I haven't got a car wash since April, end of April, and it's about to be July, which isn't bad for me. But at the same time, y'all was saying like, oh, I get a car wash once a month. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I see what y'all doing here. I see what y'all doing here. Y'all taking care of y'all cars. I got crust all over me like, ugh. Yeah, I actually take care of y'all car. I see y'all. I see y'all. So, I'm gonna get a car wash probably later, depending on what time I'm, like, ready. Because I'll be in that area where my car wash is, or the car wash I like to go with. But it's just, like, am I the only person who feels like a car wash takes longer than it should? Like, I expect the car wash to probably be, like, 10 minutes. On, like, a not-so-busy day, my car wash probably takes, like, 25 minutes. And I'm like... What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, when I get back home, I'm going to empty my car because I have a whole lot, a whole lot of in here. I have cases of water in the back because it's on sale at Randall's. So I'm going to empty my car so that I can get my car washed because I have some bird poop that's been on my window forever now. Y'all told me not to do that and I still be doing that. I don't know if y'all can see from here. Yeah, I see that little splat. But yeah. So either way, I'm going to Marshall's because I haven't been to Marshall's in a minute and I feel like it's something for me in there. So let's go see. After the gym, I went to Kava because I need to eat and I'm on a very tight schedule. I'm not going to have time to eat. So I got my sauces, hot harissa vinaigrette and garlic. And then I also got my bowl. I will link the video with my go-to bowl in the card so you guys can see what I get. But I got a bowl. I was feeling real good today. So I got some pita chips. And then I got a lemonade. Let me show you I got a freshly squeezed lemonade. I don't know if it's freshly squeezed, but it'd be tasting like it. So, yeah, I'm about to have lunch, get ready, and I'll check in with you guys afterwards because I'm gonna try to get some content done, zoom through it. So, I'll check in with y'all in a few. Good morning and happy Saturday. It's Saturday, June the 29th. What, one more day of the month? One more day of the first half of the year? Crazy. But, Saturday morning, I woke up a little later than I wanted to because I stayed up very late just doing things. So I just got dressed to go to the gym. We're about to go get this workout in. And I'm on my bag because I have to wash my bedding. But yeah, we're about to go get this workout in or whatever. Put on a little scent because I like to smell good in the gym. Ooh. I like to smell good in the gym. So I'm gonna put on this nest Turkish nest Turkish rose. Yeah, see, nest nest. Is that 
Can y'all see? Girl, it's a nest Turkish rose. So I'm gonna just put it on this the roll on. Cause I don't have money for the full size right now. But when I get money for the full size, honey, best believe I'm getting the full size. So if you guys have been considering getting this fragrance, it is a must-have for the spring and summer season. But I like to smell good in the gym. Because you know when you be walking past somebody, especially after you sweating, you walk past somebody. And then it be like a little breeze after. That breeze will tell you a lot. That breeze will tell you everything you need to know. And what you need to know is that I'm a bad bitch and I smell good. So, yeah. Because <laughs> some people's breezes, they don't be, mm-mm. I be like, okay. <laughs> okay. But we're about to, oh, I also need to get a car wash as I'm out of the house. So let's go ahead and clear this car because I'm sure I have tons of crap in the back. surprised that the gym is so empty it's time on saturday it's 10 30 and i'm the only person in this room and the air is buzzing the fan i feel it i feel it and my regular gym it gives sauna the whole time it's so hot we're in here it's a little chilly my headlights is on and everything but I need to moisturize my lips. It makes me work out better. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy how much stronger I've gotten. Like literally, that exercise I just did, I used to do it with 15 pounds, like a 15 pound kettlebell. And now I'm doing it with 30. Like 45. Is that you coming? Period. I just want to get stronger. I want to get finer. I want to get just everything. Like, Working out started off as like a physical thing for me, but now it's more of a mental thing. And I'm like, who is she? Hey love, so I just left the gym. I had a great workout as you guys saw. And now I am starving. But I'm trying to think what I wanna eat. So plan is to get a car wash. I kinda wanna go to Trader Joe's, but then I'm just like, Cause I'm going out of town next week, so I'm not gonna get like groceries, groceries if you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just get like things to cook in the meantime and things that won't expire while I'm away. But then again, I do feel like I want a little strawberry and a little banana. It's so hard planning like grocery shopping when you know you're going out of town or when you're constantly out of town or when you don't know how. Ooh, let me call him. Let's go. Uh, when you don't know how long you're gonna be out of town which is the case for me a lot of the time all right let me check this weather before i get a car wash okay cool so car wash trader joe's what do i want to eat oh to eat because today is editing day i need to edit my maintenance vlog i need to edit my new york city vlog and then i'll feel like more caught up because the next vlog after that is this one and before I was two weeks behind on vlogs and y'all was killing me because it's still the same way. Like I'm still two weeks behind, but I'm trying to play catch up. So bear with me as I play catch up and then we'll be up to date. And then you guys will see vlogs like, you know, a few days after things occur. Because right now it's given, girl, you did that two weeks ago. Why are you showing us now? You know? I 
y'all. <laughs> we have way more post-its than we should have up right now around this time of the um of the month. But I could explain. I could explain. Okay, I could explain starting off with we do have to remove some days. So we do have to remove the 26th. 27th, 28th, and 29th. I did go to the gym the last four days, period. But I was away, y'all. I was away from the 18th to the 25th. I did. Would y'all work out? No, I ain't work out. I feel like I could take down the 22nd because I did a lot of steps that day. And then it was another day. The day I went to Target, that was the 21st. I did walk to Target. So that. That counts. What else did I do? That was fun. I think that's it. So, we have one more day tomorrow. I do plan on going to the gym tomorrow after church because I am going to church tomorrow. And then we missed all of these days. But it's okay. We're starting again in July. Are we? I don't even know if I'll do July because honestly, yeah, I don't even think I'll be home a lot in July. But we'll speak about that another time because I'm still trying to figure things out. So, yeah. This is the update as far as how we did this month. I think we did okay. For this being the first month, I think we did okay. I don't want to be too hard on myself now. Hey guys, so I got ready <laughs> and I'm about to head out to the housewarming and then out for the night. Outfit of the night is this Zara top. Let me bring it out closer. Outfit of the night. This is Zara top. These Levi shorts. I give a little, I give a little booby me or whatever. And then I'm wearing my not too much heels. That's what we're gonna call them, not too much. These gold ASOS heels. I told y'all, y'all are not going to get enough of me in these. So I'm wearing this and then I'm wearing my black YSL bag. It's already in my car. I literally came back inside because I realized, like, damn, I forgot y'all in my bedroom. Let me take an extra battery for y'all. Let me just switch your battery. Hold on. Good morning and happy Sunday. It's the next day and I am about to head to church. I haven't been to church in weeks. So I actually haven't been to church since I joined my church just because life things. So I'm on my way to church. Last day of the first half of the year is a Sunday. Tomorrow's a Monday. Starts a new month. You know, just trying to. <laughs> so I'm heading to church. Let me put on my morning playlist for Sundays. Ooh, I don't like to listen to anything besides gospel music on. Sunday morning, so this is a playlist I listen to. I'll put a link down below, but it's my bro, Young Prince. He has like this morning starters playlist. It's so good, always gets me in a good mood. And I think he just updated it this past week and added some new songs. So let me jam out, head to church. I will vlog on my phone when I get to church, but I just wanted to check in with you guys because I didn't record once I got to the house for me yesterday. You know, I was in somebody's house, so. I was just like, I don't want to, you know, be doing too much. So, we had a good time yesterday, though. We need to talk when I get back home because <laughs> we're going to talk when I get back home. But let's go to church. Sisters, I know he's driving SRT, but does he know how to change your tire when it goes back? I know he can sweet talk to you, but does he know how to pray when things get hard? I know she mesmerizes you with them blinkers she got. But can she open up her Bible and read and rightly divide what does say in the Lord? Some relationships, my brothers and sisters, ain't worth any of your time. Tell somebody.
gotta, you gotta, you gotta check out who you've been hanging with. You gotta. And here you are finding yourself with attachment issues. You got issues because you you can't entertain relations with somebody else because you're stuck on the hurt from your past relations. Hello, my loves. Happy July. Today is Monday, July 1st. One, you guys know I love a new month. You guys know I love a new month when it starts on a Monday. That's my sugar, honey. I see. Okay, me and a new month that starts on a Monday, we go together real bad. But happy July. I pray that this month is an amazing month for us all. I pray that we understand patience. We practice patience. We understand that our steps are already ordered for us, and I pray that God, God continues to guide us in the direction that we need to be. I pray that we understand and cherish God's timing and understand that everything that is meant to happen will happen on his timing and his timing alone. I pray that God continues to cover and lay an extra hand on everyone who is fighting a public or a private battle. And I just wish us well during this new month of July. Amen. I posted a prayer on my TikTok as well. So if you guys want like monthly prayers, you can follow me on TikTok because I always post or I'm going to start posting like photo dumps and the caption will be a prayer to start the month off with based on whatever I'm feeling at the time. But today is July 1st and yesterday I was like, yeah, I'm going to come home from church and get my house together. I came home from church. I did go to the gym yesterday. And then I just laid on the couch and did like nothing. I did some work, but for the most part, I did like nothing. And it felt good because this weekend, I really didn't have like time to relax. So yesterday was like my day to do that. So I say all of that to say like all of my, all of my monthly, like all of the things I would have liked to do to start my month off with, I didn't do. So laundry still ain't done. Dishes, I washed some of them this morning. Bedding still not washed. Like all of that has to get done, but it's gonna get done. And as I just said, it's gonna get done on God's time. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually about to run a few errands because I have some things that I purchased in New York that I need to return from Target, TJ Maxx, and Sephora. I bought this. And honestly, I'm not really impressed. I was going back. I'm also returning the Huda Beauty Concealer because it did start to break me out. I don't know if you guys can see. Well, it's kind of like better now, but I had like a ton of like texture on my forehead. It was from that concealer because also I experienced that texture under my eyes as well. So based on the placement, I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. So that's going back. And... I want to stop in Urban Outfitters because they currently have 40% off of sale in store. As I mentioned, probably previously in this vlog, I'm going on a little trip at the end of this week slash early next week. And I may be going on another trip after that. We're going to see. We're going to see y'all. But I just want to see what I can find in store. So we're going to do that. And yeah, so let me go ahead and get dressed because I still have on my nightgown. And I'll check in with y'all when I am heading out outfit of the day we went cute and comfy because you know we're gonna be in and out of stores in and out of clothes most likely so i really wanted to give comfy vibes comfy vibes comfy vibes so this shirt is actually from target i bought this when i was in new york it's a old future collective collection i forgot who it was with but it's no longer available it was randomly just one of them and this is like a one x or two xl I found it in the Target in Mount Vernon, but it's just like kind of like a baseball tee, but it's super comfy and cute. Shorts are Aritzia. These are just like TNA sweat shorts, literally a basic must have in your wardrobe. Sneakers are my white and silver Vimeros. I keep telling you guys time and time again, if you don't have a pair of Vimeros, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Because these are literally... The sneaker of the summer, like Nike Vermeros, super comfortable. They're kind of pricey, but they're super comfortable. So I have on my silver ones. My bag is my Balenciaga little city bag. And then my glasses are from Shein. Let me get close so y'all can see. I'm not too mad at them. I don't know if you guys remember when I got these. I showed you guys these glasses in my affordable vacation haul. And I was like, mm, I was expecting for them to be more of a sunglass. But when I put them on, it kind of does give sunglass versus optical glass. So I'm not mad at it. And my hoops are from Revolve. They're from, I forgot the name of the designer, but they're no longer on Revolve. I found them on another website, but I have them linked down below. But they're these silver spiky hoops. Y'all need these, y'all need these. So 
outfit of the day and my scent is YSL Black Opium Red. That's what I put on today. I did record my outfit for TikTok short form content, so you guys will see that over there as well, probably before or after this vlog, who knows. I look pretty, I feel pretty, I am pretty. So now, let's go ahead and run these errands, child. Mm -mm -mm. When you just look good, you just feel better. I'm telling y'all, if you have not started or picked up the practice of just getting yourself together, whether that's putting on a cute little loungewear set versus the pajamas you slept in last night, or you getting literally dressed up to go to Target in the mall. Get yourself together. I promise you, it'll put you in such a better mood. But let's go. Yo, it's like I need to get food, so I came to Raising Cane's. All the cars are just dispersed in the parking lot for the drive-through. Like, I, I'm still confused. Look at this. Like he's here. This, this is the line. Let me show y'all. This is the line. He's here. I'm here. Who goes first? <laughs> and there's cars behind me, too. I feel like I cut them. But at this point, like, y'all need to form a single file line with y'all vehicles. Okay? That is the purpose of a drive through Single file line in your vehicle. And the only reason I let him go is because it was the elderly man. I don't, I don't play about the elderly, okay? I have a special... Oh, yeah, I definitely cut this car. That's why they was looking at me. <laughs> But yeah, I have a special, I have a special soft spot in my heart for the elderly. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but, nah, I ain't gonna tell y'all, I feel like that's too deep. Y'all gonna be like, girl, what? But yeah, I just have a, I grew up around elderly people, so I have a very soft spot. It's a very soft spot in my heart for the elderly but y'all see what I'm saying about these sunglasses now? Like, they give sunglass more than optical glass. Because at first, I'm like, yeah, I love this. I love this blue look. Blue is my color. Every color is my color. I'm a black woman, so every color is my color. Like, that's that on that. But I was watching Davey's TikTok this morning. If y'all don't follow Davey on TikTok, y'all need to follow Davey on TikTok. He is so funny. He's friends with, like, Raymonte, Corporate Baddie, like, that group of friends. You know? If you know, you know. But he's so funny, and I was watching his video, and he was doing a TikTok eating Raisin Cane's. And after I watched it, I'm like, damn, I feel like I need some Raisin Cane's today. So that's why I decided to come to Raisin Cane's. And then I was driving past this Raisin Cane's right here on South Rice, and I was like, I'm going to stop to get me some Raisin Cane's. So right now, we are at Raisin Cane's. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy my Raisin Cane's in the car. But I know he was like, Raisin Cane's, they have honey mustard. I don't, y'all know I can't eat honey mustard. I don't do the dairy. But he said they have hot sauce. And I'm like, I could do a hot sauce on a chicken tender already. Like, I can do a hot sauce on a chicken tender. So, I'm going to do a hot sauce on a chicken tender. I'm going to get me a box combo. That's the one with four. That's not Big Bag. Big Bag is candy at combo. Candy at combo with the six pieces, that's Big Bag. But I'm just going to get a box combo. That's like mini bag. <laughs> and I'm going to get extra fries. No coleslaw. I guess they could give me the bread even though I ain't going to eat it. And then I feel like... I want a lemonade so that's my order that's usually my order when i come to raisin canes in case you guys are interested they have a raisin canes in harlem now they have one on 42nd street so for all of my new york babes because i feel like majority of my audience is still new york based yeah i could try raisin canes it's on 42nd it's in harlem and i think there's one in brooklyn too i'm not sure yet i'm not sure if it's open yet but it's just basic chicken tenders and fries. So after y'all try, don't come to me like, girl, it's just basic chicken tenders and fries. I told y'all it's basic ch chicken tenders and fries. But I like chicken tenders and fries, so I like Raising Cane's, okay? And I definitely feel like Raising Cane's down south, or at least in Texas, is way better than Raising Cane's in New York. When I tried it in New York, I'm like, first of all, the price is way higher. My, my box combo was like $11.14 precisely. And in New York, it was like, almost 20 cash and i'm like for four tenders and fries Kisa. so yeah it's definitely more pricey in new york than it is down south i will say that imagine if i open my um my window to order my food in the cars that i skipped they're like bitch there's a lot of <laughs> popping off on somebody in the drive through is crazy i'm trying to find a link for these glasses so i could put it in my story by the way this is a sticky grip if you guys are ever wondering it's the sticky grip so you can put your phone up literally everywhere i'm not gonna try it because it's kind of hard the suction be suctioning okay definitely be suctioning real hard um can i have a box combo please 
Can I do no coleslaw extra fries, please? And yes, and for my drink, can I have a lemonade? Can you do no ice on that lemonade? That's it. And in my bag, can I have ketchup and hot sauce? No problem. That's it. Thank you so much. When I remove the drink, that's when it's eleven fourteen. But when I leave the drink, it's twelve eleven. So either way. New York be ODing with the prices, and y'all already know that. The shop dude's moving too fast. <laughs> ah! Form of payment. Oh my god, I'm trying to find the link for these damn glasses so I can I could put it in my story for y'all. Cause I try to answer questions before y'all ask them. So before everybody's in my DM, like, girl, where's these glasses from? Okay, I have the link for the earrings. Now the glasses. Magic Link needs to update their app because I don't like how you can't search an app. Like, I always have to go on the website to search. And I don't like going on the website because then I have to log in again. Too much, girl. I think I did my Shein video on May. Oh, is it April? Hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. So, we have our racing chain. Oh, it's a TikTok I want to do. It's the one where it's like, mm, that's good. Give me 12 of those. Who says find me and who just follow me on TikTok? All right, let me do my TikTok. I'll be back. In this mansion, I'm a collie caulking. Pay the full, I'm a car fight. Know your tie. We just did dinner for three hours. Lying to me all night. Buying being expenses out of spite. Paid a hundred, ran in some light. Simple price to keep them out my life. Moving trap, we need a business office. Magic City need a business office. 29, I keep a business office. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas often. Tell you got the hold up on the team chain. Seem like they may need money for coffins. Cuban girl, a fan of buying coffee. Text me on the signal, don't call me. Major distribution labels call me. Bad bunny numbers. So I'm in the mall. I ended up getting something from Urban. I'll show you guys when I get in the house. But I feel like none of these stores really have anything. Fabric 21 has cute stuff, but I did place an order online. It's supposed to be coming on Friday, which is the day I'm supposed to be leaving for my trip. Well, the day I am leaving for my trip. I'm just like, I hope that they added an extra day because of the holiday and like it gets delivered faster but i'm tight because literally the day after i ordered from forever the next day they were offering free express shipping on orders over 70 dollars and my order was definitely over 70 dollars so yeah but we'll see if it ends up coming on time if it doesn't i guess no biggie but there were some pieces in there that i definitely one wanted to bring on my trip and two wanted to share with y'all before they sell out so we'll see how things go 500 million just for Aubrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, major distribution, high popping. Mention me to be the hottest topic. Same place you sing your bitches shopping. Yeah, I pulled over. I'm on the side of the road, and as soon as I pulled over, it started raining. and i have to pee i literally just love target i'm like damn i should pee i'm like nah i'm gonna wait till i get home and look i'm just like oh. hi yes hi um i was calling because i just caught a flat okay i'm on river oaks boulevard i wasn't sure if you were available oh yeah just text me the location and tax size this is about how much power okay should i text it to this phone number yes yes please. okay i'll send it now let me know thank you thank you sir. This is crazy. I'm just the girl. My tire pressure's on one. I hit a curb so bad that all my duckies went flying. Like, <laughs> oh my God. And I scratched my friggin' rim. <sighs> I'm pissed. Oh my God. I fucked up my rim. Wow. Damn. So allow me to summarize this for y'all, right? So I was at the mall for umpteen hours, shopping, 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 spending. I didn't spend too much money, but it's just like, I wasn't expecting to spend this money, you know, like to fix my car. But either way, I'm driving on friggin' Westheimer. Was that? I was on Westheimer 
and I made a right onto River Oaks Boulevard. And I don't know, I need to go, I don't want to go back over there. But I feel like it was something up on the curb or the curb came out like farther at a certain point. And when I tell you my car went leaning, like leaning, my duckies came flying over here. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it felt like a scene out of a movie. But, um, yeah. And then I checked my tire pressure immediately. It was at 39. I'm like, okay, cool. I drove like half a, not even half a mile, a quarter mile. And it went from that, it started going down. It said 20. And then I saw it said 6. I said, oh, no, nah, I can't drive on the tire. I can't. I immediately started looking for tire shops. But I'm like, I can't even move my car because the tire is deflating so quickly. Like, it has to have either a tear or a big ass hole in it but yeah so i immediately start to panic because i'm like it's after six most of the tire shops i've been to they close at six so i'm like what the hell am i gonna do like what am i gonna do so i called my sister's boyfriend and he was so nice he helped me find a mobile tire guy so the mobile guy's on his way here now i have a tire on the back of my jeep so i'm guessing that's the tire they're gonna use i don't know if they're gonna bring one and ask me i don't know but the service is like three hundred dollars I was not expecting to spend this money right now. I'm about to go on a trip, possibly two trips. Like, <sighs> So, yeah, that's basically what happened. So, the guy said he should be here in, I think he said 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah, 35 to 45 minutes. But that's better for me. And if he's good, I'll share his information. Because instead of me having to pay for a towing service plus a tire service, they come and they do everything here. So, fingers crossed this works. Because by the time he, they get here, it's probably going to be like 7.30 because it's 6.45 right now. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. But there's a lesson in everything. So, I'm about to sit here and watch me some Love Island, I guess. And wait for these people to come. <sighs> Woosa. Woosa. Yeah, look at Stormy. So is that tire done for? Tire no really? It can't be patched? No. Nope. Yeah. 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 You do this for a living. This is your job? Yes. Yeah, okay. We have here location, we have in California. Really? Yeah. Okay, good to know. My baby girl. Hey guys, happy Tuesday, happy July 2nd, aka July 1st for me, because my month is starting today. Yesterday, I don't know what that was. I feel like that was my little trial, my little 24-hour trial for July, and then July actually starts today, because starting the month off, starting the second half of the year of getting a flat tire, my first flat tire ever crazy but i was so anxious last night when i got home so i just laid down on the couch watched my shows and went to bed and i woke up this morning feeling more at ease and yeah like it was out of my i want to say it was out of my control but there's nothing like i can't cry over spilled milk you know what i'm saying like it happened so now it's just like okay what are we gonna do to fix it so i need to one I need to figure out if my dealership covers tires, which I think it does. I believe, I know I have a warranty for tires. I'm not sure how long it is. So I have to figure that out. And then from there, um, the dealership will have to file a claim with whoever covers my tire and will warranty and then go from there. So yeah i don't really want to go anywhere today i'll probably go to the gym because that's not too far away from me but other than that i don't want to go anywhere because i don't feel comfortable 
and I'm leaving for my trip on Friday in case I didn't tell you guys. So Friday, I'm leaving to go out of town for I don't know how long. <laughs> and then another thing that happened. So on Sunday, I ordered stuff from Forever 21 because it was they have like 40% off their website. And of course, my package gets delayed until Monday. Love that for me. So I'm not going to have that package. And I had a cute little outfit I wanted to wear too. But it's okay. I have clothes in my closet. That's not the biggest deal. Like after yesterday, I feel like that experience was really made to humble me and make me realize like, girl, there are bigger issues going on. There's bigger issues going on in your life. And you cannot sit here and cry over little things. So yeah, patience. Stillness. So yeah, I'm about to start working for the day. And once I have an update on my car situation, I will let you guys know. So yeah, pray for your girl because this was not in my bingo card for July, for Q3, for 2024 period, for my life period. I'm I always thought about it. I'm like, hmm, if I get a flat tire, what do I do? Another thing, <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible. I don't know if I have roads out assistance. I think I do. But I'm not sure. So when I figure out my tire and warranty, I believe my dealership also provides me with like roadside assistance. I think, I think, I think. I know they did. I don't know for how long. So I'm gonna figure all of that out. But yeah, but with roadside assistance, I heard that they be taking long to like send the person. But the guy who I called yesterday, he probably came in like 35 minutes, which I don't think was bad because I was just on the phone and the time passed by so fast. God bless his soul. And I didn't even tell you guys what happened after because that was just part one of yesterday. So part two is that my sister's boyfriend told me like when he puts a spare tire on, make sure he puts air in there because most of the time it, it's going to be flat or like it's not going to have as much air as a tire should. So I asked him like, hey, can you put some air in it? And he's like, oh, it's fine. And I'm like, okay. So I started driving. And as soon as I'm about to get on the highway, my tire low pressure light comes on my dashboard but when you put a new tire in a when you fix a tire the air pressure doesn't like upload to your dashboard right away so it took me driving like a mile and a half for the tire pressure to go like back from being zero to being what it was 26 so when it hit 26 that's when the low pressure like came on so i was thankfully God is amazing, I'm telling y'all. I was right by a Shell gas station. So I pulled into the gas station. I pulled into a ga the gas station and I got out of my car to see like if the tire looks flatter than the rest and it did. Not flatter, but like just not as plump, not as juicy. So I was like, okay, gonna have to put air in the tire. Y'all already know. If y'all been watching my channel for a while, I don't know how to put air in the tire. Literally when I tell y'all I'm just a girl, please believe me. So there was this guy, he was like, getting back in his car from pumping gas and he seen me looking confused I guess so he came over he's like oh is everything okay and I'm like no you know I just had a flat tire it got changed but I need to add air to this tire now so he's like okay I'm like but I don't know how to do that he was like okay I'll help you so I'm like okay cool you know there's nice people in the world there are still nice people left in this world so there was a couple putting like air in their car's tires so he like pull up behind them and once they're done I will help you so he, whatever, I swiped my car, he put the air in the tire, it got to 36. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, okay, can I go now? I'm like, yes, thank you, God bless you. And that was it, but like, he wasn't pushy. He wasn't like, you know, trying to do anything. Like he was a very like chill guy. He genuinely just wanted to help me because I look confused. So yeah, I ended up driving home. I had to drive slow. Not slow, but slower than usual. So it took me the actual amount of time to get home. And now we're here. So yeah. Oh, lots of lessons learned yesterday. But I do want to show y'all what I got from the mall yesterday. But later on, because I need to get to work. So I'll be back. Hey, y'all. So <laughs> I'm at Raising Canes again because I need lunch. But... <sighs> Y'all probably be like, girl, why are you out the house? Where are you going? So long story short, I tried to contact my dealership to see about my tire replacement. And they were like, oh, I need the paperwork for the tire warranty. I have it, but is it efficient for me to use my time to look for that? No. When they could just look it up in finance. So she's like, yeah, you could just call finance. 
they'll pull it up. I call finance at like 8.15 and then 9.15. Nobody answered. It kept going to like voicemail. So I'm like, I'm going to pull up on them. So what I did, I pulled up on them. So when I got there, the reception was like, oh, you know, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. I've just been calling finance and nobody been answering. And they were like, oh, they're in a meeting. But I'm like, y'all should have said that. <laughs> but I was like, either way, I'm here. So got the paperwork, went to service. And basically, she, the grab service, she filed a claim. I always worked with the same girl at service because one, she's one of the only females who works in the service department. And two, she's nice as hell. So she's like, yeah, I have to file the claim. And it only covers like the tire, but not the rim. Well, she said, no, no, no. It covers the rim, but they don't do rim repair at the dealership. So she could tell them that they don't do it and then they will say like oh she can go to this place to do it or we can send somebody to her to replace or fix the rim so that happened so then i was waiting for her to do the claim and then she's like you know i'm doing the claim uh we have to submit photos of like the messed up tires so they took the messed up tire off the back of stormy so stormy is a naked right now like when i tell you that stormy's whole bumper is outside her whole bumper is outside because she don't have the tire on the back and y'all know that completes the look of a jeep a jeep wrangler so she was like um if they have the tire in stock she'll call me later on today so that they could you know um replace the tire but she just texted me. She's like, the tie is out of stock, so they have to order it. So it could be an order where it comes later in the day, or it could be an order where it comes tomorrow. But as I mentioned, I go out of town on Friday. I don't know how long I'm going out of town for. I want to get this fixed. I don't want to have to think about it. When I get back, I want to have a peaceful transition back to my regular life. So that's that on that. When I Googled it, it said that you shouldn't drive more than 50 miles on a spare tire. So I ain't going nowhere. Okay, everywhere I'm going... Is literally close by so I'm happy about that but yeah if y'all are not getting the freaking hot sauce to put on y'all chicken tenders and raisin canes I'm telling you right now you're not eating raisin canes correctly because when I tell y'all that hot sauce changed my life yesterday it changed my life for the better I actually need the full size of that hot sauce so that's what's going on I just wanted to give you guys an update and then after I get Raisin Canes, I'm going to stop at Walmart because I have to get cotton balls to soak these nails off. I'm doing a new set of nails for my trip. I'm going to do a separate video, like, prepping for my trip. So, I'll probably end this vlog off soon. Once I figure out, like, what's going on with my car, I'll end this vlog off because I don't like leaving y'all with the cliffhanger. Y'all probably like, girl. And I know so many of you guys are genuinely concerned about me, and I love y'all for that. So I need to make sure I give y'all an update before I end this vlog, or as many updates as I can. Hopefully we can get this resolved ASAP, but... Thanks. I got a text! <laughs> I love Adam boy. Your girl got a text, and it's like, great news. Your tire is ready. Your tire is here, honey. So guess where I'm going? to get my time fixed and then i'm gonna go to the gym so let's go but real quick let's give it up for the skin honey let's give it up for the skin make some motherfucking noise <laughs> y'all know i have came a long way so each and every day i cherish my skin because it looks so good and we have came such a far away we still have some we still have ways to go but for the most part the skin is tea. <laughs> oh, and I did soak my nails off because I told you guys I'm doing a new set for my trip. So I was able to do the prep before I left my house. And when I get back, I'm going to apply my new set and do my design. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Who got a new tire? She got a new tire. Who got a new tire? She got a new hey guys good morning happy wednesday happy wednesday i didn't update you guys yesterday but i did my nails i'm not in love with them so i'm doing them over today i ordered some supplies that are coming today and i'm gonna do a different design they didn't go as planned because i wanted to do like the y'all this chrome is already coming off they didn't go as planned because I wanted to do like seashell nails. So I wanted to like put this color and do like swirls in it to give it like some type of dimension. But this polish isn't like opaque enough to take that. So it didn't go as planned. I just 
polish my nails regular. Don't look too close to me. But I'm going to drill this color off and I'm going to do a different color. I also got some builder gel because I feel like maybe it's the color. Because they're very see-through in the light. I don't know if y'all could see. But, yeah. So, <laughs> I should have did a white coat underneath. But, anyway, y'all. I did my nails and my tire is finished. I ended up going back to the dealership yesterday. I got the new tire put on and then they put the spare tire back in the back of my car. So the flat tire saga has come to an end and I am going to be more careful driving with these curves. <laughs> yeah, I just drive whatever. But um, yeah, so that's done. I did get two PR packages. So... <laughs> I, Kim is texting me right now, and I cannot contain myself. If y'all don't watch Love Island USA, baby, I'm telling you guys right now, you have to start. Because when I tell you that my jaw was on the floor yesterday, and not even from yesterday's episode, from the preview for Thursday's episode, which y'all should have already seen. If y'all watching this vlog, y'all all the way caught up already. But I ain't going to spoil it. We're going to speak about it. I'm going to give y'all some business days to catch up. But my first PR package that I got is from YSL Beauty. And they sent over a mixture of goodies. So the first thing they sent over is this bronzer in 05 Dark Sienna. I'm so happy that all of this PR I'm about to show you guys came in because your girl is going on two trips. How freaking cute is this? One thing about YSL, they do not play about their packaging, honey. Okay. Is this dark enough to be a bronzer on me? I'm not sure, but this uh, little compact, fire, fire. I may need one shade darker in this, but we're gonna see. So they sent over this bronzer. They also sent over a concealer. I already have one of these, so I'm not gonna open it. But it's this, it's this Too Eclat Radiant Touch. It's like a click up uh, concealer stick for color correcting or even just like added dimension like brightening so this is in a shade 6.5 as i mentioned i already have one of these so i'm gonna set this aside and then they also sent over a candy glaze love 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 the candy glaze first of all the packaging oh yes this is in a shade 02 i don't think i have this one so, we have a new candy glaze. And then they also sent over a Love Shine in the shade 206. I may have this one already. I have to check. So, thank you so much, YSL Beauty, for sending these goodies over to me. I'm always thankful. You guys are always spoiling me love it here and then the next package that i got is from the lip bar if you know me you know i love the lip bar i've been rocking with the lip bar for years honey for years and they sent over what i believe is like their fast face so it's basically everything you need to do a fast face quick fast and in a hurry oh yes so this is what inside the box looks like, beautiful woman. So it says, introducing Fast Face 2.0, your customizable beauty routine. So, ooh, I can't use this for this. I don't know if you guys know, but me and avocados do not go together at all. So they sent over this blurring primer. It says it has raspberry and avocado extract, so I won't be able to use this, unfortunately. But let's see. This is the packaging. I love the texture on the, the cap. And then the setting spray also has as avocado and raspberry extracts. So I won't be able to use this either. Take, let's take a look at what it looks like. Ooh, love, love, love the texture on it. It reminds me of the texture on the <sighs> bronzing, the bronzing uh, blush duo compact i don't know if y'all remember or if i even know what i'm talking. and then the tinted moisturizer they sent me the shade 
honey dip. This is a vegan tinted moisturizer. It says it has SPF 11 and hyaluronic acid. This is a two. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm And then they also sent over the concealer. I was really, really, really excited to try this concealer. Because if you know me, if you know Kendra, if you know Kinesthetic, y'all know I've been stuck up on the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer for years. And when I saw this concealer, I was like, ooh, it looks super creamy. Because that's my problem. Like, the Sephora, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, I love it because it's creamy and it's affordable. Like, the fact that these brands are charging 30 upwards for a tube of concealer... Kisa, key mother freaking sa, and I also think the applicator was thick too. So this is the tube of the concealer. So I have the shade cinnamon 2.0. Yes, look at the applicator. Mm. I guess I think it's a little bit too red. Yeah, it's a little bit too red. I don't know. We're going to have to try this out and see, child. They sent over their blush in the shade Sweet Cheeks. Really excited about this. It's a liquid blush. You guys know I've been loving me a liquid blush. <gasps> it sent me another trophy one. It's so crazy because I don't know what my current one is. <laughs> but this is Sweet Cheeks. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh. I don't have any like liquid blushes like this. So I'm really, really excited about this. Oh, yes. And it blends out so beautifully. Yes, look her. Oh, yes. Fresh Glow. The name is literally so fitting. So, is that this? I think this is what I was talking about. Yeah. No. I honestly did not know Lip Bar has expanded their product offerings so much. Like, in the lip department, yeah. But in, like, face makeup, look at the compact. It has that same texture as the primer and setting spray. Super. Oh, this is the shade Brown Sugar Babe. And Brown Sugar Babe. And then they sent over a brow pencil. Ah, and then they sent over two of my favorite lippies. This is Boss Lady, the literal best red on the planet. And then this is Trophy Wife, which is the best topper on the planet. Like, <sighs> So thank you so freaking much, Labar. I am so excited to try out these goodies. As I mentioned, I'm going on two trips, which you guys will see in the upcoming vlog. So I'm going to try these makeup products out and share with you guys. But this brings us to the end of this vloggy vlog. I really hope you guys enjoy lots occurred yeah and i feel like i have a lot to edit too but i just want to let you guys know that for the month of july i don't know how consistent i'm gonna be on youtube but i will be consistent on short form content i'm gonna try i'm gonna try but as far as youtube i don't know child because i'm going on two trips back to back so for the first half of july it's going to be very hectic. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because I know so many of you guys look forward to my videos. And I'm going to try to pre-record some content before I leave. Um, but don't be mad at me. <laughs> don't be mad at me. Yeah, I need a break. I just need, like, to refresh and, like, hang out with my, my family and friends. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And can you guys guess where I'm going? Hey, hey, I've been there before. Hint, hint, one of the places I've been to before. Hint, hint, the other one I'm going for the first time. Let's see if y'all could guess down below in the comments. But I love you guys so much. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one.